Well, here it is. The worst games of last year. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm pretty sure it's going to be immediately demonetized by YouTube. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would consider supporting us so we can continue to do what we do here uninterrupted. Uh, do that by Patreon or the YouTube join button. Uh, I really appreciate your support since I guess this is how it's going to be in 2023 with our last lists, which also got limited. Um, and I also want to super thank our sponsors G Fuel. As always, we have that 20% uh, off code for you guys. Uh, G Fuel helped me get through a lot of these games on the list. So, here is my list. I'm uh, Put your list down in the comments below, and I hope you guys enjoy. Check it out. These are the worst games of 2022! Number 10 Oh fuck What the fuck <laughs> The dude hit Joe Biden so hard He went into a different Oh fuck Went into a different dimension <laughs> And fucking that froze. On. That's it fucking sweet. This game kicks ass. Cobra. Fuck yeah. Cobra Kai 2. The worst licensed game curse continues with Cobra Kai, the popular Netflix series. They already got one bad game. Why not force a bad sequel out of the fan base too? Pay close attention dodged. to this, Nichols. I just dodged it. Time to learn skills. <laughs> and while it's actually rather ambitious in its scope, choosing between three dojos, recruiting characters from the series for your dojo, and then kicking ass across the city, it unfortunately didn't have the talent to pull it off. Truly one of the worst games I've played this year. Hilariously floating movement and activities. Uh, what? <laughs> oh my God. On it. What? You really want me to run a lap around this bike? <laughs> the movement Pick is so Pick up the pace, floaty. Pickles. Time is of the essence. Understood. Don't even Bradbury. I mean, the Bradbury. Absolutely broken boss fights that weren't even play tested. Cobra. All right, full health. Let's go. That's nowhere near. ME! What was oh, in the replay? Show me the replay! It was nowhere near me! Your fucking hitboxes are fucking broken! Completely shitty fighting! Cobra Two, three, four! Nietzsche. What? Nietzsche. No! Nietzsche! I need G! Nietzsche! Pure jank with an even worse broken karate tournament. Like, I've played better fighting games on fucking mobile than I have here. Look at this shit. This looks like a fucking uh, Chinese asset flip on the Player fucking, one, oh my one point. God. Fucking sausage arms, motherfuckers. Fight! <laughs> what the <No>. fuck? <laughs> Player one, <laughs> one point. And I shit you not, it is actually 50 gigabytes! What the hell? As big as Call of Duty? With the worst part is this game has the gall to charge $50 when this came out. No mercy! I hit him so hard. Let's I knocked go. his fucking hitbox. Only winners get to celebrate. Ah! What? Ah! Only winners get to celebrate. Ah! 
that's the cutscene I get. Fifty fucking dollars? Are you? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Player one, <laughs> one point. <laughs> There's no way to Fight. it. What? What? What is happening? Yeah. Oh, it's a master of disguise. What the fuck? Matt, Cobra Kai. <laughs> this fucking game, man. Number nine. Getting a little excited on the magazine, Joe. <laughs> that is funny. That's the only funny thing. So, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, literally pissing on everything. Don't, don't, Joe. Come on. Well, those are perfectly good donuts, asshole. Postal four, no regrets. Guess the spell check wasn't working that day. Look, just because you're trying to be bad on purpose doesn't excuse you actually being really bad. Bitch walks. Fuck off, weirdo. Damn, Fuck well off, there. Joe. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way soon. She's working naturally. God damn, she bowling. Like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Do you happen to need any dirty services performed? Else, Got any jobs for me? I'm not afraid to get down and dirty. That's great. If you want work. Glitchy, buggy, and a broken mess. Sure, you can piss on just about everyone and everything in the game. You'll never know. Uh, that's the... <laughs> yeah, you like that, huh? <laughs> Crying is only making it worse. But that doesn't redeem this kind of gunplay. What the fuck is that? Shoot him! That was a headshot. So the gunplay is excellent. <laughs> the jokes aren't funny. The outrageousness doesn't work like it should. It's boring, talentless, it's half-baked. It's got more loading screens than a game from the early 90s. I think you know where you're going. They do. Oh, we got a load. With this guy's leg doing a, doing a jig in the background. Seamless transition. Seamless transition. <laughs> you didn't even notice, did you? Man, it took all that loading just to load that one part of the level. Are we stuck on 46? It's repetitive, and it just fucking sucks. Sure, it may get one or two of the outrageous things to land from time to time. <laughs> Joe, that's not how to pick up women. <laughs> Sure about Goes that? to show you how much you know. <laughs> oh boy, Joe. Are you sure about that? Stop throwing your crack pipe everywhere! But it's not at all worth its purchase price of 40 fucking dollars MSRP! At release, it was damn near unplayable. And even by the time we got our hands on it, after many patches, it was still a crapshoot. <laughs> You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> what the Anything fuck? You, say, you can forget about this, the and there's a free donut in it for you. <laughs> you just gotta go to jail. And it crashes. <laughs> <laughs> you go to jail, and it fucking crashes. <laughs> it was so simple, Joe. All you had to do was go to the next mission. I said, don't fuck with the police. Don't break the fucking game. She said, and what'd you do? You fucking broke the game. She said, drop it. One of the worst postal games ever for a series that makes bad games on purpose. And that says something. But at least it isn't as bad as Postal 3. Watch your aim. We only have 300 
That's that's too far. <laughs> that's too far. That's definitely racist. <laughs> that's some racist ass shit. I can't. I can't. No, man. No. That ain't right. We're waiting for you. Number eight. Damn, you get a lot of platinum players in this bundle. Dante Fowler, 80 plus <laughs> platinum player. Holy shit, there's really so many of these. Isaiah Simmons. Whoa, that was sick. Oh! What about the Pro Platinum Elite Bundle? And a 3% chance at an 87 plus. I think I kind of have to go with this. Whoa, that was sick. Oh! Madden 2023. A game so bad that I needed an hour long video to explain just how bad. Year after year. 10 fucking faces. The same fucking thing. Every fucking year. Madden continues to milk its sports gamers for all their fucking worth and monopolize the NFL and simulation football that it clearly doesn't give a shit about. with sidelines straight from the Dreamcast era, still after all of these years. They can barely put any polygons to number eight. It's just swinging back and forth. Like, are you? Wow. At least he's fucking jacked. <laughs> This billion dollar franchise keeps putting in the most minimal effort every damn year. And this is really what happens when you don't build an animation catalog proper and you neglect gameplay for year after year after year. So here, but there's a lot of animations that need to take place. So after seeing this, right, you see complete failure in logic. We're going to take a look at all pro football, right? Not just one play. But look at all these animations, and that's all this is. It's animations in the game. It's a catalog built to simulate football. Blending animations, transitioning one from the next while maintaining a block, right? That's what EA does. And the end result is this. The lineman gets completely through the line, goes back, pressures and sacks the quarterback. This image right here should tell you all you need to know, right? Worse, the legendary Madden himself passes away, and EA does its best to capitalize off the man's death with special editions, doing the bare minimum in-game for the man himself. Lazy as hell. This is the John Madden inter integration. <laughs> the Pro Bowl, they brought it back. <laughs> The Pro Bowl is back! No, this is like Legacy vs. Elite. Just a play now game with two teams of classic players. Basically what we had in Madden 19 with the Legends vs. the Elites. Why not go the extra mile and bring back a few historic teams? You know, like the ones that used to be in Madden? Oh right, historic players need to be behind a paywall and mutt so EA can make even more money. It's clear to me that Tiburon just doesn't have the talent anymore to do anything meaningful with its aging engine. Number five's like, what are you doing? Don't touch me. What do you think we're playing football? Why why are you running into me? Be <laughs> going for By the a way, tackle. That guy's holding over there. Where where? Oh yeah, yeah. red. Look yeah, at this red. red right here. That's holding. This is blatant that's, that's fucking holding. holding. But because the goddamn animations, he's already Show inside me. of his body. This Show is fucking holding. What is this? Where are the fucking refs? Well you oh play. my god, Joe! Games 18 years ago still do things better than Madden. One of the worst single player face the franchise modes in recent memory. Lock in activity. So, dancing machine. Post a video to social media of yourself doing the latest. <laughs> All so they can sell you their shitty microtransactions and their neon super crap KO modes. Superstar is shit. The yard is garbage. 
These are modes that should still that should be removed from Madden. Nobody plays them. No one would miss them. That's more development time for fucking the modes that people care about. Still, no pageantry, not even in the Super Bowl. No presentation effort, no nothing. Number seven. This time for Ubisoft's Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction. This is Ubisoft's latest boardroom born, low effort, hollow, asset flip, copy and paste job designed to maximize profits with minimal effort, respect to the arts, IP, and their consumers. Rainbow Six Extraction, a dead on arrival game. This three person PVE experience it, it is a mode for Rainbow Six Siege that was broken off by some genius at Ubisoft and made to it into its own full $40 game. Mistake. I honestly believe that this was the point in the game's creation where the only real work was done. Someone had to go through and retinker some character models and some scripts, and that's it. I cannot believe how this game got actually good review scores from journalists. Frauds! You. What? How did he go through? Wait. He's what? not. He's trying to. Even though there's a wall right there that he can walk through. He decided to break that wall because the AI is terrible. Ridiculously bland gameplay. Going from cleaning one room to another clean room with just boring, bland, repetitive missions, and then you extract. Copied operators from Siege force replayed sections ad nauseum. No story, no atmosphere, and only somewhat fun with friends. Yeah, you can have fun with friends, but you can have fun with friends in any fucking game. Even the crap in Fortnite, which no one should be buying anyway, can at least be shown off to the mass quantities of random children for clout. These skins get to be shown to two other people. And if your online teammates are anything like mine, they'll just take off immediately anyways, and it won't matter what you look like. Oh, and if you have a bunch of premium currency from their other game, you know, the one they copied everything over in Siege, none of that stuff applies here. Far better games in this genre out there like GTFO. At some point, Ubisoft has to get better than copy and pasted assets and repackaging their fucking generic gameplay as a, a free event. This was like a free event for Rainbow Six Siege. And then they fucking charge $40 for it. Get the hell out of here with crap like this. Uh, did it. He's back. Look. He's back. He's back. I did didn't it. Did OJ fail? I've never failed. Alex, what the fuck does that even mean? Fail? Didn't OJ. No, chat, am I wrong? Didn't OJ fail? Fail? Man, you, no. OJ failed. That's not what you. I didn't see that. Bam. He's back. Task failed <laughs> successfully. <laughs> You're welcome. Number six. No. This looks familiar. No! 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 It's like a mobile game. God, you can't bear. Yeah, you, you can barely see where he's targeting. It's on rails! It's an on rails shooter in 2022. For $45. DC League of Super Pets. The Adventures of Crypto and Ace. The longest fucking name on this list. Whereas Cobra Kai at least tried with multiple aspects to its game and kind of ambitious nature, DC of uh, League of Super Pets is based on, uh, I don't know, the best and most coherent, faithful DC adaptation that The Rock has ever made. Now what you're gonna see here is why the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Okay, I'm just kidding. I, the, the game doesn't bother to put in as much effort as Cobra Kai did. It's basically an on-rail shooter where you shoot lasers from Crypto's eyes as enemies fly past you. It can't even be bothered to come up with unique levels. It literally starts reusing its own level assets, level two. Isn't this the exact same level as level one? Yes. Level two is the same exact level as level one. 
You can't even be bothered to create a new level for level two. Level one <laughs> is the same level. In between these sections are bits where you match animals with owners who want to adopt them, but they screw that up even. It's the same thing. Yeah. You could you you couldn't even make these unique out of the laziness out of all the lazy goddamn things in this fucking game. You couldn't even the one fucking thing that I wanted to do is get the pets adopted with the correct fucking person and you fucked that up. By the 10th level of this garbage, you want to gouge your eyes out. <laughs> but don't worry, you can switch things up and you can play the Kevin Hart Batman dog. The Rock Dwayne Johnson personally promoted this video game. How does it only have one, three sales? Not even The Rock could convince people to buy this shit. The he Rock did a didn't promo. even buy it himself. <laughs> They top it off with some of the most high action boss battles I have ever played. I don't think anyone was stupid enough to have bought this game. Even The Rock seemed to be forcing his promotion of his own game on IG. Do you get to play as Crypto and Ace to take on Lex Luthor and his Lexbot army, but you also get useful power-ups from PB, Merton, and Chip and also help save Metropolis' strays from being abducted and find new compatible homes for them. Enjoy. We played this overpriced movie licensed garbage. Was it 40 to $50 that, that's designed to like waste your ignorant aunt or uncle or grandma or grandpa's money? We played it so you never have to. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> These people developed this game <laughs> for, for months. And then it released. And then <laughs> three people bought it. They made a total of forty eight dollars $120. They had to pay their developers less than $120. <laughs> That's like one that's like one fancy dinner. <laughs> same fucking level I just fucking played from level one and two. Level three is just the same level. Level three is level one, level two. You cannot a forty dollar game and you been you repeated the same level three times in the first fifteen minutes of the game. Does that mean that there's actually Oh, we just stopped! Oh my god, a new feature to the game. You stop randomly. Number five. Holding right. Holding left. Holding right. Holding left. Holding right. Boy, he's gonna tire himself out sooner or later. Holding left. <laughs> Holding right. Amazing boss battles! The Callisto Protocol. How can the Callisto Protocol be higher than DC, League of Super Pets, The Adventures of Crypto, and Ace? Because no one ever had any expectations for that piece of shit game. And everyone actually had high hopes and expectations for this one. Especially with the team and the director of the original Dead Space behind it. The creator. A colossal waste of concept, talent, time, and my money. One life sign detected. Continuing search. That voice actor for the robot Sorry, sounds like he's like the direct you friend and not really yeah. what you would use for the robot. Yeah. Oh, Lethal force has been authorized. <laughs> A horror game ruined by not having any horror. An excellent new sci-fi ruined by destroying what it could have been some of the best combat, but yet they designed some of the worst combat that I've ever played. Ah, fuck! Can't even talk. This game sucks. Come on, you're stuck, bro. This game. Fuck. 
not only a top disappointing game of 2022, but also one of its worst games, as it fails in nearly every department except for its m amazing graphics. Sure, games like, I don't know, Vampire Swan Song and Lego Brawls may be rated worse on Metacritic, but this one hurts so much more than those games. I honestly would never play this game again, even with its innovative one-player co-op feature. You're playing and I'm playing. Gotta find a I'm gonna go around this, Joe. <laughs> I'll do it, Joe. <laughs> both using the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, but we can bro pull him. Just suck him in, suck him in. You suck him, I can't suck him. Oh, you're, you're good at sucking. Master. <laughs> <laughs> Two of us are playing. Alright, this game got super awesome because it's the only game that allows one player co op. Suck him! <laughs> One player cough. You suck him. You missed. Yeah, you blew too early. All right, I'll take over. I hated its boss battles, and I hated its combat so much. It failed at even its own stealth sections. It had wild difficulty spikes, and it didn't seem like it was designed for multiple enemies to attack you at the same time, despite always throwing multiple enemies at you at the same time. Slow animations that get you killed and, and frustration awaits you in this game. And that's if it runs worth a damn on PC as it was a drop frame fest at release. <laughs> this fucker. Number four. Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? <laughs> uh, no, it's it's a it's a fully uh, fully fledged uh, Diablo experience on on mobile, which everybody will get to play. And hopefully Diablo Mortal is everything wrong with good gaming. Blizzard should be ashamed of themselves. A literal meme game. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone. Right. You can play on your tablet too. Yes, it's also on the Switch, you're right. The very definition of corporate greed and the lengths a company will go to to sell itself out for whales. Money over integrity. You actually get worse as you play the game. You get less powerful. Loot that spills on the ground starts to slow. The legendaries, you, you, you can't get them. Why? Why would all this happen? To lead your dumb ass to the storefront to fix all these problems. The core loop of Diablo has been monetized. I have a problem with that. That's not fucking the point of Diablo, to monetize that. And these crests, the rare crests give you, I think at that amount of 5% chance of getting a legendary gem of rank one. Mm. Uh, or you can use a legendary crest, which is the one that you get like, one or two a month if you're a free player, but you can buy them for two quid a pop all day long. And that's what makes the Elder Rift be, oh, you're getting this little bit of gameplay. And then if you just give a little bit of money when you get into this little gameplay session, then you get the big juicy hit of progress. And it's basically a Diablo 3 asset flip. There's, there's no point. Go play Diablo 3 if you want an experience like this. It's rightfully slammed by the community. Uh, for not, for, not for its gameplay, but it actually has one of the lowest ratings on Metacritic ever because of the astronomical amount of cold hard cash that you need to drop to not only stay competitive, but go anywhere in the PvP in the game. Which then means you need to get other gems that are out of five to combine them in to be a full five star. Which means that if you, like, the data mine drop rates are that 0.05% chance of getting a five out of five. Cumulatively, you've got a 5% chance of getting a five star gem. But then you need more of them to, do, to actually get into that. And the weighting is really bad, so you've got a, such a massive 75% chance of getting a one star gem. So it's not even like you're guaranteed something for your money. You're giving a chance of something because you bought a legendary crest. 
Oh, this is and so like massive. I said, those are those are 160 orbs. Why get runes by grinding? Buy them. Swipe your credit card to level up your character. Status ailment? You got one? Well, well, you can go back to town. Why? Why do that when you can bust open your wallet? Fuck off, Activision. Sure, you could take a completely free route, refusing to spend any cash, but it takes you a ridiculous amount of grind and time compared to somebody who's just burning their cash. And you'll get maybe one or two gems a month versus an insane amount from someone who is paying and upgrading these at like $20 a pop or a fully upgraded pity system where if you spend $100, then you, you get one of these fully maxed gems for free. It, get this, it takes $110,000 to fully upgrade your character. More. To be fully geared, you're $110,000? Yes. Are you out of your mind? Your grandfather didn't give his life just so his grandson could pay money to be good at something. Are you out of your mind, Blizzard? This is what is Diablo? Do you not have phones? Do you not have phones? Yeah, but I don't have Do you not have $110,000, Joe? Do you not have $110,000? No. Well, you're an idiot then. Can't I buy some stronger units? That is insane. They actually have the balls to say out loud that, oh, a lot of the negativity is based on misinformation. It's loot boxes and PVP. It's riddled with pay to win. You get pop-ups constantly to surrender your wallet to this digital garbage. They have made sure to design the game in a way that below a certain level and outside of the end game, it seems reasonable until you hit those ugly walls. And it's like just the pay to win stuff. I don't mind a game being a piece of shit, right? In terms of this, not much. But it's when it's combined with all of the other psychological abuse and all of the other little ways they worm you in and get into your head and get you to do your dailies, get your first kill of the day reward, get your do your eight bounties every day for your little bit of stuff. It's like in conjunction, all these things are like, uh, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's almost like the perfect, perfect distillation of pure stealing your wallet from you by psychologically manipulating you. And I'm telling you, because it's on PC, it will ruin your favorite franchises. If not now, if not Diablo 4, I swear to God, if they continue making buku bucks on it, you will see these tactics in their future games. It happens without fail. Do not contribute to the destruction of your favorite franchises. You even lose things that you pay for in this game if you don't continuously log in. So as it stands, the best thing to do is to save all your normal gems because we're not sure how the RNG is going to play out, whether or not that base at or that base stab increase is going to be like, oh, you have an A tier one or an S tier one. Like we don't know how that's going to work yet. So just save all your normal gems, save all your platinum because you're probably going to want even more normal gems. Maybe you want to start buying the normal gems off the market, for instance. Okay, so just focus on the normal gems. Just because it might have solid graphics or the Diablo free gameplay loop doesn't make it a good game it makes it all that much more sinister don't buy into activision shit do not play this and do not give them money i'd raise it one out of ten on fucking principle alone realistically anytime you add something like this with gems where it is going to increase the power of something in this case it's going to increase mostly your life and a little bit of your damage uh wells can just buy these in fact these are actually straight up in some flat cash purchase offers just like the blessing of the worthy and stuff was you can just straight out buy gems and you can buy them every week and stuff there's like the gem cutters pack and other things so uh this is actually a another pay the win mechanic uh on gems again which if this actually comes out the way that they're explaining it and it's it's not better than it looks uh in my opinion i'm going to call this probably the most tone deaf uh, update we've had since I, I, we're adding resonance 2.0 i'm actually not a very big fan of this number three who the, the fucking water man i pay 60 dollars and the water looks worse Elix then in motherfucking Elix 2, Elix no, 2 you know what, water. Elix 2 actually had better water than a lot of other games. <laughs> this is that fucking, I don't know, I don't expect Horizon Zero Dawn level, 
But I do expect at least oh, Elix it's, 2 level. It's $60, <laughs> the same price. It's as, that uh, color. It's the water <laughs> color. But even, it, it just, I, I, I have never seen a game where the art style actually, like, harms the game. <laughs> and this art style so far is harming the game. Oh, no. Babylon's Fall. Babylon's Fall is a terrible game. It is so fucking terrible. It is not even available for sale anymore. That says something. What the fuck? What is this, a fucking mobile game? I got I got fucking S rank, Joe, in chapter one. <laughs> Get the fucking oh, ass. Oh, sick, man. GameStop has pulled it from the shelves. Steam, you're not you're not gonna even be able to get the game any longer. And and Square Enix is terminating the game February 27th of this year. A game so bad they couldn't even sell it for a full fucking year without pulling it. And with it, all the updates and expansions planned gone. It had some of the worst graphics. What the hell? <laughs> Look at the textures, what the fuck? <laughs> the textures are loading. You can join us on this occasion. Some of the worst cutscenes in the game. Are you fucking serious? You time and energy enough to skulk around? You tricked me with an opening cutscene, and now you switch the cutscenes to single fucking frames? Single frame cutscenes! So no backup from the brave Imperial Knights? What? You are afraid your armor will get dirty if you fight your own battles for once, eh? Insolent cur. We knights don't suffer. <laughs> It's like a fucking puppet show. It's so bad. It, it might Some of the more generic and repetitive storytelling I played all year. This is all for the sake of the art style. But if you look at it, the art looks like garbage. High hopes for you. Especially you, my valiant giant slayer. And with some of the worst gameplay. Next chapter. Fuck. Oh my god. It's, that's the last one. Sure, platinum, baby. <laughs> Of course they had some paid vanity items that apparently will be sold out if you don't get it in time, whoa! And some of the worst loot drops from its shitty grind. Okay, so maybe you get cool drops? Like, didn't people play fucking shitty games to get cool drops? Oh, all right. Dude look like a lady here. I guess I can wear that. Um. <laughs> Is that a corset? <laughs> yeah. Do look like a Oh, lady. I got the corset too. Uh, you did? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, I got, I got a helmet. About the only thing it did right was a few boss battles. They, but they were so few and far between, it wasn't worth it. I like the boss mechanics here. I'm, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, this is good. Cool. It was actually a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's why it's kind of like a dark bubble. <laughs> Just bizarre, really. There's, there's not much more I can say about this other than it was a huge embarrassment from Square Enix at a time where Square Enix isn't doing very well. Imagine following up Marvel's Avengers with this absolute dog shit pile of a game and thinking you're going to turn your fortunes around. Really bad. Really. Boy, do you look cool. In fucking Babylon's fall, man. I gotta give it to you. I'm Looks wearing like fucking your mom's elf boots. Some random shit. <laughs> and <pick> some random <laughs> shit Time from, to go to from my prop closet here with all of our fucking random shit. And then after I went to the prop closet, I went to my mom's closet. And this is the coolness that you can look like. Look at all of the coolness you see here.
number two. Wait, Tommy's gonna sound. Yeah. Oh, you're fucked. Nice, dude. Look at how, look at, look at how much fucking bullets this guy's taking. Look at this. He got <laughs> Classic Gav is the best fucking Crossfire X player ever. We got a shroud. We got a new shroud here. No, it's because the fucking hit detection is so inconsistent. Mission fail. Blacklist win. Crossfire X. Crossfire is apparently one of the best selling games in the world. Did you know that? Yup. Okay, Crossfire is the most played video game worldwide. With 6 million concurrent so, users and 1 billion registered players. Really? Yes. That's crazy. According, in February 2020, according to developer Thank Smilegate, you. with the majority of players in Asia, now, especially China Mr. and Morales. South Korea. Shit. Morales? It's one of the highest grossing franchises of all time at over $10.6 billion. But not here, not in the US. And that's why you've not heard of it in Asian territories, right? So Crossfire X was supposed to be this glorious debut into the American market to compete with the likes of CSGO and Call of Duty. And instead it resulted in an absolute dog shit pile. That it's essentially instant ADS <laughs> because there's no semblance of balance or gunplay or anything. I literally cannot think of a single redeeming quality to this game. What's the uh, what's the sitch? Rob's in the mines. This asshole's our guy. Okay then. Partnering up with Remedy, of all people, did not make the single-player campaign story any better. Oh my we fucking god. how damn. dangerously close that horizon was. Oh my god, it was so dangerous. The horizon like was out in the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> it was so dangerous. How close horizon yeah, was. Yeah, I beat it. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, are you out of your mind? I don't understand how they became involved. Uh, uh, clearly, to cash a quick, quick paycheck. The same with Microsoft themselves when they touted this on stage as the next killer app. Dated in nearly all of its major aspects and not even functional in many of its multiplayer modes. Because the, the mechanic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Because you get you get frozen in place if a single bullet hits you. Yeah, you, you get pushed. Oh this These fucking people didn't even fucking play test this fucking game! What the fuck is this? This is literal garbage. Another cynical free to play multiplayer shooter section with microtransactions and battle passes that no one will ever fucking buy. Why we're playing, but why are there's, they there's playing? There's just a tons of microtransactions in it. You've got this store. Look at these fucking amazing uh, skins, Joe, that you gotta pay for. Uh, there's a red and black gun. There's a white guy. Is there like a and this is perk a, where you could aim symbol. down your barrel? Yeah. Well, that is in the modern. Uh, you were playing classic. What you need to play is modern if you want an ADS. And then this chick shows up and she says, do you even have enough money? So she's like she's like the orc in Mordor. Like, listen to me. So that's $6. You want to buy that for $6, Joe? So you got the store, you got the black market, and you have the battle pass. So there's three different ways to spend money in the game. But with 
paid campaigns that people wish they had never bought. Worse, one of the campaigns that was promised to be free wasn't even on the Game Pass as promised. So I and others had to end up buying it to review it because they wouldn't send out review copies. Guess what happened? It launched and they charged people. They forgot that they said that it was going to be free on Xbox Game Pass. They said it's an it's a currently an error. Um, but no, you just have to pay for it. So I had to fucking pay 10 bucks for the single player campaign. It was literally one map for each damn mode, and there were six modes! Pointing. Whoa! Double kill! Triple! Joe Reno, get him! Don't switch to your fucking grenade! You would have killed him and got a triple in this game! You've been the best player in this game! Triple! Joe, X. Yeah. Did I kill him? <laughs> Throw grenade! Hey. Hey. Bro, shoot him, buddy! <laughs> you shot everywhere but him! You kept running! Two more kills! Two more kills! Why Hurry! Can't, why can't you just fucking... Oh my god. I literally cannot remember a single fucking thing about the campaign. It's that generic. Generic story, generic characters, below average gameplay. You're a superhuman nano and you can't even jump the height of a box. <laughs> what? You gotta be fucking kidding me! What is this guy doing? Blocking everybody? Yes, he's blocking everybody because it's the only way for the humans to win. It's as if they didn't even fucking play test the whole game. So it's, it's the only way for the humans to win is if somebody if somebody on the nano site it acts like a troll and blocks the engine for everybody else. Just laughable audio. Awful voice acting, incredibly stupid enemy AI, just pathetic. It's absolutely hilarious. The free campaign is actually better than the paid campaign. Oh, yeah, I know. He's wearing a hat, right? Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, look, it's hitting the rock in front of it, fucking even though the rock shit. is. That what? Yeah, what? Oh, that is fucking your bullshit! Aim, your aim is Fuck terrible. This game. Your aim is terrible. Bullshit. I know it is, Joe. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was Battlefield 2042. This game sucks, man. Come on. Come on. Hit, his, hit, hit his elbow. Clip? Hit his elbow. His elbow. That's further out. How much? Oh, yeah. Christ. That's when you know that you can hit him when he starts firing at you. Explosion! So you think that maybe the multiplayer will make up for it, straight up copying CSGO? No, that's shit as well. Poor animations, low res textures, just awful gunplay, controls, a colossal fuck up, and quite simply one of the worst games of the year. Embarrassing. One out of ten. Stop aiming up! You need to aim at their feet to shoot their Let's head! Let's go! <laughs> Success! All I right. win! Alright, That was fucking Joe. horrible. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> you needed to get the full flavor. I'll, oh, no, I'll let yeah, you go no. before you end up like Alex <laughs> over here. Number one. Oh, everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you going to help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Saints Row 
Saints Row, number one. That's right, I told you I wasn't done with that travesty. Yeah, Saints Row is my personal pick for worst game of 2022. Yes, some of the other games on this list are objectively worse. Crossfire X, DC Super Pets, Cobra Kai, but none of them completely destroy a well-known and well-respected franchise here in the States like the new Saints Row. He would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. Yeah. That yacht's guarded AF. Dude, did you just say AF? Yeah, it's an abbreviation. First, we fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF? As fuck? Same number of syllables. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every damn one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! Kill me. It sucked to get the codex wet. Don't fret. Call home for a ride. None of them completely burned and then pissed on the ashes of something that worked in favor of something that was completely delusional. People thought would be better than the garbage that everybody liked, but them. I forgot. The game's worst enemy is, uh, Steps. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Uh, that's... It looks really good. Some great interior textures here. They just reused the uh, skyscraper interior texture mm -hmm. for the uh, Wild West. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's some effort right there. That look good! What's in this one? Da oh, oh, that look good. The Saints Row, it, it just stands as a testament to simply not understanding what your player base loves about your game, nor having the passion or talent to remake a game better than it was done decades ago. Lisa, she has a good heart. What? What? Okay. <sighs> Fucking thing sucks. <laughs> what? Made it. Oh god damn it. <laughs> what happened? I I don't know, Joe. This game is um working perfectly. It is in release state. Decades ago, Madden keeps fucking up every year, and Diablo Immortal is a wolf in sheep's clothing. But Saints Row, Saints Row is just shit in shit's clothing. Volition fucked it up bad. Sir. You done fucked up. You done fucked up. Hey, that's mine! Nothing's worse than killing your own franchise for this foreseeable future and then acting like it didn't happen with your shittiness and bad ideas that were rushed and poorly executed. And that was what this game was all about. All of that combined. That's why it's the worst game of 2022 for me. Tell me what your worst games were in 2022. My God, and there were like four or five more that just barely missed the list. 2022 sucked for games, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to subject myself to another year in 2023. What awaits us? What awaits us in this year? Oh God, why do you make me do this? Oh, fuck! What's coming? Tell me. Tell me what's coming.